Lord, I'm a puny little creature, the dust from the dust. If you were with me, I can be your mighty instrument, Lord. Bless me, Lord, so that I might break your word, worthily to your people. Amen. Wishes to you, my dear people. We are joyfully entering the third week of Advent with a theme, Rejoice. And my dear people, Pope Francis, in all his encyclicals, he mentions the word joy. Because a sad Christian is a bad Christian, so we need to be very joyful all the time. We need to be people of resurrection, celebrating life. And that's how we are entering the third week with joy. My dear people, every time we hear about joy, do we really know how to be joyful? Most often we get ourselves associated with the things of this world and we think and set a target. Once I achieve these things, once I re achieve receiving this much of money, I would be joyful. Once I build a house, I'll be joyful. Once I get this car, I'll be joyful. But do we get that inner joy, perennial joy? No. After reaching that, another goal comes in. Another goal comes in. And we are not able to be joyful truly. And so my dear people, today the word of God teaches us this week's Sunday's Word of God teaches us how to be joyful. Prophet Isaiah prophesies to the people of Israel what the true joy is. The true joy is having Emmanuel amidst them and to experience and celebrate the presence of Emmanuel who would create peace, hope and joy. My dear people, it is very very difficult to be joyful when we are sad. It is very, very difficult to be experiencing the joy of the Lord when we are in pain. And that's how when we lose our loved ones, when we are at loss, the joy doesn't get its meaning. And that's where we are troubled, worried. And in the pain, we even question God, why God to me? And that's where most often people decide in two ways. The people who stay only with why, they're not able to find God, they're not able to find joy, and they say that there is no God and take the other path. And there are some people, after questioning why, they move, travel up to accepting the pain and asking the question, how? How can I go again in my life? How can I face this pain? How can I move closer to God? And that's where they are able to see God's presence again and they are able to enjoy God's mercy with them. And that puts them into joy. Viktor Frankl in his book Man's Search for Meaning clearly says, people who lost faith and hope in the concentration camp who always thought about the negativity of death they died very fast and those people who are able to have the hope and faith they were able to go again in life and enjoy life and they were able to sustain their life even amidst pain so my dear people check in where your focus is are we focusing on life or are we focusing on death and today's gospel is a wonderful message. John the Baptist as he preaches, people come and ask him many questions. In this gospel, we can take home two messages of how to be happy, how to be joyful. The first one, John the Baptist is very aware of himself, who he is. And he clearly states that he is not Christ and genuinely accepts. There is no sense of grandiose. My dear people, there are people who think very great, high about oneself. 
and they associate with i profile people even though they are not and i still remember one of a good old friend and uh, he speaks very high about himself somewhere he caught in some issues that he had to go to jail when he came back you were saying they served me a good food there you know actually uh, there are very very rich people are also inside the prison you know somewhere the sense of grandeur doesn't allow us to be truly happy we only our ego makes us to blow more than what we are we happy to blow our own trumpets but john the baptist teaches us to be humble to be what we are to accept what we are and that is the first step to happiness and the second one you see when people question him are you elijah he's saying i'm not are you the messiah i'm not are you the prophet i'm not so he teaches the indian philosophy of nathi nathi when you understand what god is not it is very easy to approach god and to understand god what god is so when he is questioned he answers what he answers what he is not and that's where you can zero down and come to understand what he is my dear people in life the moment we begin to leave out what is not god's we may be going closer to what is god's and that's the path to happiness that's the path to be joyful let's take home the message of not having the grandeurs being simple and humble servants to one another and to go closer towards god by doing what is god's own work are being god's own people may god bless us all wish you all a happy joyful advent amen